Welcome back here. We are about to get our first Opens game away. Gold medal match coming up here in the Mixed Open. Have an extremely special guest in the commentary box with me for this match. Peter Walters, great to see you here. And uh, we've got a great Mixed Open match again. The old rivals, Australia and New Zealand, taking each other on. Yeah, how are you, champion? Yeah, look, I'm looking forward to this one. New Zealand have got some uh, some great talent. They've got a good, good blend of young younger players and experienced players, so it's going to be a good one. Yeah, so talk us through the New Zealand side for those tuning in at home, maybe watching Mixed Open Touch Football for the first time. Who in the Kiwi sides uh, should they really be keeping an eye out for in this match? Okay, well, leading by example will be the captain, Sina Ashworth and Wurumu Takare. Some great experience there. You've got some really good young talent. Daniel uh, Morgan Putarangi. You know, um, Nathaniel Turner's an older head, but he's very powerful. Tian McIntyre's a young talent. Mark Hodson, some experience there. Mate, it's going to be a great battle. Yeah, really good battle and on the Australian side of the field. Look for number 15, Hayden Moffat. He's only about 20 years old, but he's had a fantastic last couple of years, has Moffat. They've got plenty of strike, though. Singh, Paige Parker as well. So this is going to be a fantastic mixed open gold medal match between the Australians and New Zealand. We're just going to pause now for the national anthems of the two countries. So two minutes until this match gets underway, but uh, an interesting stat, just having a look over the two teams leading into the match. Both of them go in undefeated. They haven't faced any losses so far in the World Cup. Both teams have only let nine touchdowns in for the whole tournament. 165 touchdowns for the Australians and 158 for New Zealand. So they both can score plenty of points, but they've been really good defensively as well.
Yeah, that's correct. It was a massive mixed open tournament. 22 teams in total, two pools of 11. So this will be their 12th match for the tournament. And it's uh, a good point that you make in terms of the weather. We've had it all heat, uh, extreme heat we should say, but we're also keeping one eye in the skies at the moment. We had a, a storm roll through this time yesterday afternoon, which unfortunately you were affected by in the men's 45s. Or I suppose while we brought it up, talk us through what you went through in that match. A storm came through, you were down by one with two minutes and 40 left on the clock. Talk us through what happened in that last two minutes. Yeah, very unfortunate, but uh, do yourself a favour. If you didn't catch the men's 45s game yesterday afternoon, tune back in and watch that one. So we've just got to apologise for those tuning in at home. We just had technical issues with uh, Peter's microphone there. So I'll reintroduce Peter Walters to the commentary box. Apologies for the uh, issues there, Peter. But uh, like we've made mention, this is going to be a fantastic mixed open match here. Yeah, look, really looking forward to this. Some great firepower in both teams, guys and girls. So... Let's get ready to rumble. Well, it's a little taking the sting out of it here. They haven't got a football on the field at the moment, so everybody was ready to go. The crowd was ready to go, and the football comes out onto the field now. And it'll be Tamura who will take the tap for New Zealand. Here we go. Game on in the mixed open gold medal match. And strong contact there to start the match. And again, but getting into the middle there, Osofa Tavita. Doing the hard work here for New Zealand. They're rolling into the line off of Jones. Throws that ball, leap ball. Wow, that was the perfect start. Beautiful ball from Jones there. Yeah. And that was exactly what New Zealand wants. Sorry, Yeah, Pete. it was a set piece, uh, 33 peel. Um, they just scored. The referees have changed the decision, and it's now a penalty to Australia. Ooh, so I'll have to take that one back off the score sheet. So the referees must have got together there. And yeah, probably questionable pass to be to be honest. He kind of threw the ball around the back of the Australians. The referees come up with a forward pass. He did. There's been a lot of that where the, where the attacker runs through, and the link runs through with them past the defence, and they give them the ball and score. That's been happening lots of this tournament. So the Australians now they move their way over the halfway line. Huge crowd in attendance to watch this mixed open match. Russell drives in. Singh comes off the left foot. They fire it out the back. Oh, almost held onto there. And a little push in the back as well. Yeah, on Jane Bendo. Bendo on the passive line out the back. Didn't quite take control of that ball. So first chance there for the Australians with football in hand, but it'll be the Kiwis here with all the work. Now they've turned it over. Wow, air on the first touch. Uh, and just a standard roll ball, uh, not good for the Kiwis. Yeah, they've got to switch on early here. The uh, mistake there on the roll ball coming out of their line, the Australians with Russell grabbing across field, throws the ball out to Michaelopoulos and touch made. Yeah, good defence by Cody Toti on the wing there. Got, uh, got up high off the line, made the touch on the link. So Singh again with Bembo. So it's Singh, Bembo and Russell in the middle. Singh goes right foot, throws the big bomb out. I think the referee, no, he's going to pull it back. Yeah. So late pass there on Michael Singh. Yeah. Forward pass there, called by uh, Maya Williams, the referee. Penalty New Zealand. So they'll just be looking to uh, tap the ball, hold on to it here, Pete, and try to get down the other end. Well, Probably they don't, want to, they don't want to drop it on the first one like the last set. They've got to get through these sets. So they hold on here, the Kiwis. They come towards their substitution box. There's a little bit of a juggle down this right-hand side. Hold on to the ball now with Ashworth. She gets them going forward. Changes onto the field here yeah, for the Kiwis. Yeah, getting some great momentum here in New Zealand. They drive in. Morgan Putarangi he looks for that link hole Ooh. again. So it might be an area where they've identified because they've gone there twice already, the Kiwis. But definitely, they've got some really tall links and they can get there. It looks like they're getting high in there. They're almost throwing the ball over the top of the defenders. So Nichols now drives down the sideline for Australia. They come over the halfway line. The speed of the game has been really impressive so far here in this gold medal match. They drive in now. They've got sweepers around the back. The Australians just losing footing there. Holds onto the ball. Does the fake switch, but it's going to be 
Rolled on the five metre line, so they've done pretty well so far New Zealand in defence. Yes, and Australia throwing a lot of sweet plays in these early encounters. So the Kiwis now coming out of their end of the field. Parker coming up to make the touch. Ooh, trying to get the over the mark call there. Play on is nice drive into the line there from McIntyre. Arthur Jones again sends it. Yes, Jones. New Zealand. Yeah, and to um, came to nothing in the end. The Australian uh, defence up to the task. So Australia again. They'll head towards their sub box. The pace has been ferocious early on in this match. So Cridlin, he drove it forward on the previous play. They're over the halfway line with Russell and Singh. So Benbo sweeping around the back. Singh goes away from him, goes right, goes left. Trying to catch the New Zealand defender there, changing direction, but he held his line perfectly. Good yeah, work. Yeah, trying to pull a penalty on the fifth when there's nothing really on. It's a, it's a common trait, but um, referees are, are up to the task. The Kiwis down. This is touch two here with Ashworth, so they're going to be in good field position at the end of the set to attack the Australians. Try and get the first touchdown of this match. Russell coming in with the high touch. Play on the call. So with Hodgson now, no, they go that, oh, again. Similar yeah. passing again, isn't it, Pete? They're it still trying totally to get is. forward in the line. They're running a good array of attack here, and uh, that, that attacking boys pod out there, they're all, they play club together for the loaded club and, and their province, so they've got a lot of familiarity around their plays. Russell again will just get them going forward. There's been decent contact between the two teams, and Parker just flicking the ball out on that cage. It goes behind him. And the Kiwis, after the Australian mistake, they'll be looking to make them pay here. They come back out to the yes, right-hand side. Yes, subbing off there so they get their pot on. And onto the field. And Takarai, he's into half now. They come back in towards the middle of the field. They send it out to the right-hand side. Beautiful hands, still alive. All good footwork there from Drummond. Yeah, running a girly play there where they get their link to dump in the middle. Split back the open side, short long. Was a good play. And Paige Parker with a big touch there from the Australians on the line. So they hold out the Aussies. Some really good sets of attack and defence to counter it. It's a great game. So Mills, he's driving forward. Nichols switches Cridland in. Good contact, no problems with that. Did a good job to slow the, the ruck speed up there from the Australians. They come back out to the left-hand side now. Cridlin just driving in. They scoop and go from half. They come back off the left foot. Still playing on the Aussies. Big dive into the end goal. And that is the opening touchdown there. Simon Lang, good movement coming into the line there from Australia. Yes, look, Australia just ran the same play that New Zealand had run prior in a couple of sets down. Some, uh, some sharp attack going on here. So we've made mention a few times the speed of the game has been super impressive from Australia New Zealand early on in the mixed open. So Asafa Tavita with the ball, He's working in the middle there with Tamori. These link attack lines on attack are really impressive. And Jones, yeah, I think we're still hoping the outside support there of Asafa Tavita was out there, went to throw it, kind of slipped out of the hands in the same motion. Australia moving the using skill with catch and pass. It's their first touch there on the 10 meter mark. Two touches to halfway. Yeah, they're about to roll over the half now. Bembo's back onto their field for the Australians. Turns it on the inside to Nichols. Nichols here, the experienced head from the Aussies. Yeah, Nick Nichols and Singh out there, very experienced there with the speed, the speed of um, Bembo out there as well. It's a good combo. So Bembo with the ball, comes left foot, right foot, tries to hit Parker. Good outside pressure in defence there from the Kiwis, read it perfectly. It is good confidence by the winger, she was in tight and heading forward off her line to hit that link. So they'll come up there, sub box side again, Jones held on to the ball. On this occasion in the ruck there, Paige Parker gives the penalty away. And they'll tap it on the halfway line here, or just short of the halfway line. Send it back into the middle of the field. Yeah, they are swapping sides there so that the guy can get the mismatch on the girl link on the side. So Turner rolling the ball. Hodson has the football now. So they're working together in yeah. the middle of the field. Sweet play here and a follow. 
Yeah, they ran a block of play there, got a sweeper on. Dummy half trailed inside for the touchdown. That was a beautifully constructed touchdown there for New Zealand. They make Australia pay after that penalty in the ruck. But uh, yeah, great touchdown. So we're locked up again here. Or well, locked up for the first time. It's one touchdown apiece between the Australians and the Kiwis in this mixed open final. So the Australians with Cridland. They've got a sweeper coming around the back. They go away from Lane. Cridland comes off the right foot. Still running his Cridland. Still going. Links up again, but good defence from the Kiwis. Cridland again, he drives in, Lang, they wrap around Lang, he fires the bomb out to the wing, and ooh, almost juggled in the end, but the referees are going to call this one forward. Yeah, their previous touch in New Zealand, um, they did a switch on the a rotation on the touch, it's an interesting um, part of their uh, game plan, obviously, and their tactics that they do to defend that uh, strike dump. So juggled and managed to get away with that, the Kiwis. But the Aussies, they're putting defensive pressure on the Kiwis here as they're trying to make it out of their end of the field. That's a good run to get them over the halfway line. That was Tamori again. Yeah, some nice snaky runs there to make the extra yards. Back in the middle. Oh, and they've gone through again. Well, it's that passing play again. It's been really prevalent for the Kiwis in this first half. That time it finally comes off for them. They've gone back-to-back -to -back touchdowns, the Kiwis. Yes, the, uh, the attacking half working through the line and the Australian defenders up in the line. The sport players go past them and actually receive the pass behind the defence to score. Well, it was all the Kiwis in the back end of that first quarter. They go into the quarter time break with a one touchdown lead. It is 2-1 on the scoreboard here in the mixed open gold medal match. So the teams that make their way back onto the field. We're about to start the second quarter here. It is the Kiwis that lead two touchdowns to one in this mixed open final. But it was all New Zealand towards the back end of that first quarter, Pete. Yeah, it was. And a um, couple of un uncharacteristic uh, penalties from Australia, just giving the ball, turning the ball over really. Um, subsequently giving them that set to work down and attack the line. So Australia, they'll restart at the halfway line. The Kiwis scoring right before... The quarter time break there and Mills onto the field. Haven't seen much of Mills so far in this game. Moffat goes on the outside. Has there been a touch made? No, they missed the touch there. So unfortunate, but that was the perfect start for Australia. They lock us back up. Yeah, it was. And they're really competent on those sweeper plays. Nice and tight with good speed going forward on retiring defenders. Hard to beat. So New Zealand will get us back underway. The score but is locked up two touchdowns apiece. And we hear our first rumbles of thunder in the background. So I'm sure everyone will start getting nervous. You might be starting to get nervous hearing the thunder again, taking you to flashbacks of yesterday, Pete. Oh, it's giving me a nightmare hearing that thunder sound. Oh, Jones shows a nice pass, but a big touch there by Drummond. But the penalty has been given. Australian players offside. So six more touches here to the Kiwis. Yeah, let's see what the Kiwis conjure up here. So they tap the ball. Jones again. He set up the last touchdown. Yeah, Australia nice and tight on the defence there. Tighten the channels. No room through there. They take their time again. They've got a sweeper play here. 
The referee's happy yeah, with this. He's happy. He called the um, the strike defender in the pocket offside. Touchdown, New Zealand. Yeah, a lot of protest there from the Australian players. They were trying to plead with the referee to say that they had made it back to the try line. So great response there from the Kiwis. They go back out in front. The lead is 3-2 here in this mixed open gold medal match. As Benbo gets this back underway. Working with Michael Singh. Corey Russell back out on the field. He's wearing number one for the Aussies. Yeah, they're pleading for a penalty here for the Kiwis not getting forward. And the referee agrees with them on that occasion. So Russell, he takes the touch. Rolls now. Russell again, right foot. Nice pressure. Good work on the outside in. Russell juggles. Manages to fire it out. Oh, they've gotten away with that there, the Australians. Yeah, good defence New Zealand there. They're getting up off the line, back on side, then up off the line. They're lifting well. Singh. Here comes the sweep again from Russell. They go away from him, though, on this occasion. Singh's into the in-goal area. No one chasing Michael Singh. Who can he link up with? Oh, wow. Just lying down on the ground. Bembo pleading that the ball just drops down. It goes over the top of him. But they got away with that New Zealand. Michael Singh just got into the in-goal area way too easy on that occasion. They did he had all the time in the world. Just no support players able to free themselves from defenders. So the Kiwis now doing the hard yards, coming out of their end of the field. They cross the halfway line now with Turner. Turner gets the ball back. Again, Turner in the half, comes off the right foot, goes short. A little bit of a collision there. I don't think there was any players that took each other out and Singh's actually gone to the ground here. Yeah, some contact there. I don't think it was uh, much in it. They just weren't, both weren't looking and contact, mate. It'll be fine. Yeah, back on the feet, Michael Singh. He's a tough player. He'll throw the ball on the inside. Has no interest in rolling the ball. And sends it over to Corey Russell. You do the hard work, young fella. So Russell rolls the ball now and we're back underway. Drives forward nicely. They'll head towards their sub box and it is Singh who took that knock. He drives it forward. Russell again. So changes on here for the Australians. Parker fires it back infield. Mills. That's Nichols. Nice run into the line from Nichols. Here goes Mills. Look at the speed from Jackson Mills. A great cover defence there from the Kiwis. Nice outstretched dive and they shut that play down. Yeah, it was a um, good defence from New Zealand. They let him run. Uh, it was like a long mirror, and they run him down, negated the set. New Zealand driving out now. Yeah, they're doing a job, a good job here so far, the Kiwis. They get changes onto the field. So Tamori, he has the ball, drives in nicely, just kicks out here. Tamori still looking to link up. Jones fires it back onto the inside. Here goes Jones again. It's taken two deflections there from the Australians, so definitely six to go. Yeah, they'll be looking to run a sequence play here. So talk us through this set. What, what do you think the key is? Oh, no. Oh, God, it's, That's uh, the second time yeah, on those, the first those, touch. Those are costly on the first touch. When you're down attacking the line, you had six touches, and uh, you've given the ball away. So Australia running their subset now. This area here, when a team's coming off their line, is really crucial for the defence to try and shut this down. Yeah, lucky to get away with the roll ball there, Paige Parker. She didn't look square, but that might be a little bit of the footy gods looking over. They turned the ball over there. Yeah, it's uh, getting intense now. Both teams animated. 3-2, New Zealand are leading. And I think Jones, he's lost control of that football. Yes, he was uh, running some snaky runs and just lost control. They've got to control. Both teams have to control this ball. Yeah, a couple of bit. there's errors creeping into both sides of the field at the moment. So holding on to the football is key as Cridlin just crabs across the field. And they're going to be in good attacking position here, the Australians. Cridlin, oh, we look to kick on. They just take their time to come back in towards the middle of the field. Lang comes against the grain. They sum it up. They throw left to right into the corner. And slammed down there for Australia. Ellen Mortimer gets the third touchdown and we are locked back up. Yeah, good play running a crush play with a sweep come back the open side short and long over the top cast the defense coming in and they release too late going out well well done australia so the kiwis the turn up taking the tap off here he received the football back they're just going to trudge up the field 
Turner again. Here comes a sweep for the Kiwis. Look at the lines running from the New Zealanders. Yeah, they're running some good options here after their sweep plays. And a penalty here, offside play, so six more touches. So on the last set when they got a tap here, they turned it over. And I was just going to make mention, what, what sort of play do you think that they're going to run here? What's their go-to? Well, the, these three, uh, have, uh, they've already shown us uh, four or five different options here. Okay, an error made by Hodson there. Um, but, but they are running a good array of attack. They're changing it up well. Yeah, two big errors from New Zealand after getting penalties in prime real estate. They turn the ball over, so they're looking a little bit nervous when they get the football down, but we're still locked up. The Australians, they look to shift the ball out to the left-hand side of the field. Nichols will steady the ship. Mills, look out for the speed of Mills, but yeah, the final pass. And the two players here from Australia and New Zealand make contact. Didn't look like there was too much in it there, but... No, the, didn't uh, look at much, much in it. He was, he was coming up to make the touch. He almost fell over, so um, he has an unlucky call there for the New Zealanders. Yeah, we're still waiting to hear what they call, but it does look like it's going to be a penalty to Australia. And the referee has called out the New Zealand players, the fourth sub. Yeah, maybe a little bit harsh, I think, on that call. Yes, I, uh, I agree. So now let's see what uh, Australia conjure up here. Ready for one of their standard sweeper plays by the look of it. And again, not moving forward. Singh goes a quick tap. He's copped another shot here, Michael Singh. He's in the wards so far in this match. He's down in the in-goal area again. So yeah, he might have copped a, a bit of a head knock. Yeah, a bit, bit of a collision there. There were a couple of defenders right there as he was uh, diving low for the, tri for the try line. So they'll just take time. And the medical staff from Australia coming on the field to check on Michael Singh. Singh, he sends him back on his bike. And Russell again, they're sweeping around. They look to go short, but they've got them pretty well covered so far. Like you said, Pete, they're running sweepers quite a lot, but that, that sweep play is not troubling New Zealand at the moment. No, their defence has been uh, getting uh, up to the task most of the time, to be fair. So they go the wraparound play this time again. They go that bat on, try to flick it out to the inside, and unfortunately just getting hands onto the board there, Torte. So six more touches to New Zealand. That was unfortunate. Yeah, the New Zealand winner, Cody Tote, is getting really high off the line, which is giving them trouble. They're having to throw straight over the top, and not they haven't got that link option. So Russell again comes infield. They might have him on the short side. Russell tries to go underneath. Touch made. Yeah, another close one there, but New Zealand up to the task. Their middle coming in to help out the link who's pulling a corner. Good D. Yeah, Corey Russell is one this time that just gets up a little bit ginger after having the dive at the line, but they give him the ball straight back here so in the half stone oh and now they've got the beat the aussies so nice exchange there between stone and russell that's a little set piece and they caught new zealand napping yeah we call that a white cat oh it's a common play uh, a bit of deception bit of footwork and you you get that link uh, holding and you get them with a bounce out play Nice work from the Aussies in there. In front now, 4-3 over New Zealand in the mixed open gold medal match. Stone making the touch there on Morgan Pugarangi. Driving in there, Takarai. Still asking the question of the referees is Takarai. Gets the roll ball now, so a little bit sloppy there from New Zealand. Yeah. The Hooter goes in the background, so they're going to have one shot here. The Kiwis, the footwork. They try to get on the outside. The Australians have shut them down. Right on the halftime hooter, but it was the Aussies that came back in the second quarter. You probably would give the first quarter to New Zealand, but the second quarter there goes to Australia. And totally nothing in it. This is a great game. So we go into the halftime break. It is Australia leading this one. This is the mixed open gold medal match. Current score Australia 4, New Zealand 3.
Well, welcome back to those tuning into the live stream. Uh, thanks to BBC, both teams have made their way back onto the field. It is Australia who went into the halftime break with the lead, four touchdowns to three, but it was a highly entertaining first half from both sides. What's in the Peter? Yes, and I think that I uh, just noticed that New Zealand have their lineup of this um, the uh, pod that I, I call the loaded pod because I know these three guys from Auckland. And uh, they, can, they can defend in the attack. So they're obviously the defensive pod, but they've certainly been putting on some great attack as well. So the Aussies, no doubt, will be looking to uh, get the opening touchdown here. You get a lot of confidence when you can get that touchdown straight away coming out of the halftime break, don't you? Yes, you do. You get that buff and you feel like you're, the other team feels like they need to chase and catch up. So it's easier to, to make errors when you're in that chase up mode. So it's Benbo who will get us back underway here for the Australians. And we're underway here. He drifts out to the right-hand side. Michael Singh out on the field for the start of this. Interesting to see Paige Parker, who has the ball. She's yeah. in the middle of the field. Oh, nice change of play. Just couldn't get the final delivery there to Russell, but you could see there was a set play coming on, couldn't you? Yes, shifting the defenders. So Singh. Another sweet play coming up, I think, with possibly... Uh, oh, no, it's turned into 32, uh, 32 peel. Well, Russell, the footwork here from Russell stays alive, shows and goes. Good defence defense. by Hodson. Good work, New Zealand looking to drive now, get over to their sub box. Right, they Two go. off the ruck, bring the sweep around, throw to the link. Here they go. Yeah. Good intensity here. Nice work here from the Kiwis. They go over the halfway line now with the Sofa Tavita. Again, that's Tamora on the field. He's been really good when, when he subs in from that interchange box, straightens them up nicely. He's got the ball again. Links up with Jones. Here they run the sweet play themselves. They go back onto the inside. Throw the bomb out to the corner. And touch has been claimed. But referee by Williams giving the penalty there against the Australians. Offside is the call. Yeah, repeat set here. Let's see what they conjure up. They've been running some good options here. The, this young pod here of um, Jones, McIntyre and Tamudi. So those three, they're coming together here. Tamudi driving in off the left foot. Opens oh. up the space. And got yes. the ball in underneath Jaden Benbo. So nice response, New Zealand. They're not going anywhere. We're back locked up on the scoreboard. Yeah, they ran a W there. Step back. Held up, held up, pumped it, pumped it. The short ball. The link, the defensive link was going out. Nice try, New Zealand. Yeah, you made, that's a good mention that you made. Just took his time with the ball, assessed what the defence was doing and threw the right pass at the end. Great work from the Kiwis. So Nichols. He's back onto the field. Jackson Mills now switches in Moffat. They might have him on the short side here. Moffat throws oh. it in underneath. Another play which we've seen quite a lot, particularly in the mixed open, where it looks like they're going down with the ball and just flick it out at the last minute. Yes, yeah, so it was a quickie, the link on the short side. Uh, just didn't quite get the pass right. The uh, winger was in front. Yeah, it's going to be a penalty here. No, it's going against the Kiwis. I thought they might have been a foot in the ruck. I think the crowd might agree. Yeah, so, you, these, these top-level games, there's always calls that uh, go against you. you just got to ride with it and carry on. So Nichols, Parker coming in from the interchange box. Holds the ball. No half there for the Australians. They scramble and get across now as Mills. And Moffat, so Moffat stays on the field from the previous set, gets into it half, comes away, goes back on the inside yes. to Mills. Great and play. we've seen that play already in this match, and this time it's Moffat linking up with Mills and Australia. They go back in front. Yeah, Blues follow. They run a sweeper. They both come back hard to the open side, and the um, the rapper follows inside. That was a great touchdown. Nice work from Australia. It's just a real back and forth battle at the moment, but the Kiwis, they keep responding as well. The Australians can't get away from them in this match. So they just got to go back to the mark there. McIntyre drives in again, does McIntyre. Jones sends it back out to the outside. Oh, what a take in the corner. What a fantastic catch there from Cody Torte. That was a fantastic finish. Had to jump for the ball and then to get it down in one motion. Beautiful touchdown for the Kiwis. Wow, 33 peel and the length of that would have been 28 metres, that one. Right over the top hitter, she had to reach high and banged it down. Well done. 
And just as we may mention, the Australians, they can't get away from the Kiwis. Whenever they score touchdowns, the Kiwis come back down the other end and put one on themselves. So Australia, again, in the attacking zone. Cridland, here they go. They into the in-goal area, but just losing the footing in the end. That grounds the football. His dummy half is caught as well. They'll roll it on the five. And they get marched upfield as well, so holding on to the football there. Extra couple of metres there for the Kiwis, that'll help. Yeah, this is that area of the game they call the grind. In the second half now, you've got to work hard. It's like a game of chess, you go down, they come down, you try not make mistakes. They're in the grind. So over the halfway line now, driving forward with Turner. He gets the ball back again, Nathaniel Turner. And still dancing around here, the Kiwis. They make the touch now, they're about seven out from the try line. They go back on the inside. But the scramble defence there from the Kiwis, uh, from the Australians, I should say. That was good work defensively there to shut that one out. The Australian subset now be working their way to the box there in the change. Hey, Cridlin, they're taking it forward. This is a nice run, good work there coming out from the box, as mentioned. Sings back onto the field. Russell links up, Benbo's sweeping around on the short side, seeing he goes right, he goes left, throws the ball out to the left-hand side, they pop back on the inside of Parker, and nice scramble defence there from the Kiwis, nice work from Michael Singh, coming right, coming left, but a huge ball out in the corner, but again, the Kiwis, they scramble really nicely there in defence. Yeah, singh has got some good vision there, he's working the defensive, Singh will try, they're going to shift their weight, um, but New Zealand up to the task on that one there, driving forward, they're at halfway now, yeah, Sofa Davide getting them over the halfway line. Nice work as she makes her way to the interchange box. Ashworth back so onto the field. Moody drives in. A 33 peel play. Yeah, big touch made there on Jones from Paige Parker in the defensive position of left link at the moment. So read the danger, stuck the arm out, makes the touch. Good work from Parker. She dishes the ball back now to Singh. They go down the left-hand side. Now we're starting to hear a few more rumbles of thunder as Jackson Turner, maybe it was the thunder that put Turner off on that <laughs> yeah. occasion. He spills the ball coming in from half. Yeah, costly era. New Zealand will now go down to attack with four touches on the line. Yeah, we are really keeping an eye on the skies. We saw our first flash of lightning. And another one just goes off in the background. So we had a match that had to be suspended due to a storm yesterday afternoon. It was around this time that that storm rolled in. But the Kiwis, they're still looking to roll on here. Yeah, they're, they're, this pot has been running the same play at 32 peel, running um, right to left. This time they're on a sweeper. And just lost their way a little bit on the end of that probably just a little bit too compressed in attack they ran straight into the australian defense yeah they did yeah, and uh, what tends to happen is uh, that pod stayed on they attacked it they fended now they attack again you can see when you do that and you're tired you don't have that same intensity so mills dishes to moffat they're coming through the middle of the field here there's an opportunity on the right hand side oh if the australian winger stayed out they might have got some more meters but they've still got the football look at the run into the line here for the australians they're into the in-goal area. Oh, did he ground it? Looks up at the referee to see. Oh, I think the referees are happy. Justin Cridland slamming that one down for the touchdown. And they're back in front. So 6-5 Australia. This is an amazing mixed open gold medal match. Yeah, the Australians got great flow on there. They're all running full speed. When they're running fast forward and you're running backwards, it's hard to defend. And subsequently, Australia threw the line, breached the line, passed off for a touchdown. Yeah, so Daniel Stone doing the damage there, running through from half. We've got to keep an eye out. Number seven, Simon Lang, one of their strike players, has gone off in the backfield. Looks like he might be clutching at a hamstring. So Australia are going to go one player down here. Lang looks like he's going to be out of the match. But the Kiwis, they get a penalty coming into the line. So six more touches. And it's going to be alarm bells here for Australia. They need to hold out defensively because every time the Kiwis get a penalty or come down this end, they're returning serve and getting touchdowns of their own. They are. Okay, we've got the um, Turner pot on. That look down. Touchdown. Nice quickie touchdown. So just as we say that, where Australia really need to put an emphasis on defence to shut the Kiwis out, they can't. The Kiwis, they come back again. They've been chasing Australia all game and they keep managing to lock this scoreline up. 
Well, it's just getting really tense here. W where's this game going to be won, Pete? Like, does it come down to whoever can defend the best now? Because we can see that both teams can score touchdowns. Is it going to come down to who can stop the most is going to win this match? Well, mate, what I think it's going to come down to is when the hooter goes, who's in front? It's such a seesawing battle. Absolutely. So it might be the clock that determines this because I think if we let them run for another two hours, they would just keep going. Nothing's going to separate them at the moment, these two teams. Nice run from Ashworth. They're about to go over the half. They're going to look to try to capitalise off the mistake made from the Australians in that previous set. McIntyre. Just taking it forward. They've got time up their sleeve. Here's You're that back to their play, and there's, there's the other option. Ooh, Unfortunately, it'll... touch and pass there. It almost presented itself. Just popped up again there, but touch and pass is the call. So let's yeah. see how the Aussies transition out of their end of the field. Yep, here they go. Two to both teams will make really good yards on their um, on their subsets. They're always getting to halfway on three. So the hooter goes in the background and all oh, the Kiwis will be happy that the referee pulled that one up. So the roll ball was uh, taken right when the hooter went. So we're going into the final quarter. There's only 10 minutes to go for one of these two teams to claim that gold medal. But nothing can separate the two teams at the moment. We're locked up at six touchdowns apiece. Yeah, what an exciting battle. And like we said, it's just, it's just touchdown for touchdown. They get one, New Zealand gets one, Australia gets one. It's got, it could be a time thing on who's going to win this one, and the scores are really getting up there as well. So the two teams go over to their sub boxes for a quick drink. We've got to take a quick breather as well. It's been exciting in this match here, the mixed open, the final quarter. Ten more minutes to go. Make sure you come back and tune in for this mixed open gold medal match. So both teams make their way back onto the field. Only 10 minutes to go. We are locked up. This is the Mixed Open Gold Medal match being streamed live through the BBC. And it is all on now, Pete. All right, we're going into the last quarter, last 10 minutes. Here we go. Seeing, oh, it's been picked off here. Oh, and they turn it back on the inside. So, oof. God, some passes thrown under pressure there. A nervous start from both sides there, but the Kiwis hold on to the football. Nice meters again, but they've got to get down the other end of the field here. So changes coming on for the Kiwis. Morgan Putarangi with the ball. He receives it back. He's going to drive into the line. No, he sends it back on the inside. Morgan Putarangi goes from half. Looks for that link hole, and it just sails over the top. Not sure whether the link coming in there realised if it was for him or if it was supposed to go out to the wing. Mate, the speed and agility of these athletes is just so awesome. It is for both teams. The athlete, it's so great for our sports, seeing our top-level players in this condition. Oh, and particularly, we've got to give a shout-out to the girls that are playing in this match. They're mixing it with some of the best men's open, or mixed open players, I should say. There's no backward steps taken from anyone out on the field at the moment. Mills is pretty quick here. He's going to go from half. I oh, know. Check and follow. Moffat. Good defence, New Zealand. Now up to the task here in the corner. And another penalty. Yeah. So the referees are really onto this. The teams aren't returning that football back to where the mark is, and they're giving away cheap possession. The teams get to progress up the field an extra 10 metres. So teams will be looking to try and get some momentum. When you get a penalty like that, that's the start of your momentum. If you can keep it going, get down there and try and put on the touchdown and turn things up. could happen for you yeah turn it back onto the field now again Hodson he's in half can he connect up Hodson still cracking around the back Turner 
Play on is the call. And ball down there. Couldn't link up Hutchinson. He's trying to claim the six more touches. The referees aren't having any of that. So Australia, they shifted out again to their sub box side. Nichols making nice metres. Look at the defensive pressure here from the Kiwis. That was really good work there from Hutchinson. That is. If you can get them to four on the halfway, that's a good thing. That means their strike dumps will be done around about the 10 metre mark. But Cridland does a good job to kick out, and they've thrown the ball in between themselves here. It's Stone and Cridland. Stone just puts the foot down. He's into the in goal area. Oh! oh. The space opened up for Parker. Now there was a collision between two players, and it's going to be a penalty taken out off the ball, and might have picked up an injury here in the backfield. I think it might be the number 11 for New Zealand, Nathaniel Turner. He's hobbling on that right ankle. So the referees will give New Zealand a chance to bring a replacement player onto the field. It's Jan McIntyre. He fills the spot into the middle now. Danger here for New Zealand. Stone rips Benbo, but nice touch there from McIntyre. Benbo again, Stone. Jesus looked dangerous when he gets in from half. He goes again here from half. He's into the in goal area. It's still going Stone this time. No. The referee is coming back now. The Australians are trying to get in the yeah. New I Zealand. There could be a touchdown there. There was no touch made. Well, that was fantastic sportsmanship there from the Kiwis. Tamudi, Shannon Tamudi, great sportsmanship there. Yeah, hats off. Like That's a pressure moment. That puts Australia back in the lead. And he honestly says to the referee, didn't make the touch. Hats off to Tamudi there. That's, that's fantastic sportsmanship from the Kiwi. Especially after the ref was going to award it. Good work. Okay, back to the battle here. Going forward, Takare, Tina Ashworth at half. Yeah, Ashworth into half. The Australians, they are back in front. But the Kiwis, they always respond when the Australians score touchdowns. Close one to touch and pass on that occasion. Takarai throws it back into the middle of the field. Morgan Putarangi back on the ball now. He throws it to Link and looking for Takarai on that one. Again, the final execution just couldn't hit Takarai with that ball. You did, right. The execution and... Um and placement of where they, their support players actually were in front of the ball. So, pass went behind them. So, they come midfield and now the Australians. Another lightning strike as Moffat just running into the winger there. Wasn't anything aggressive, just a big body unfortunately coming across the, the ball. Right hand wing there for the Kiwis. Now, Russell, he drives forward. Look out for the speed of Mills. He goes early. Oh! And Ooh, just off the fingertips, yeah, sorry to cut you off there, Pete. Just off the fingertips of Michael Singh, but it was on there for the Aussies. Yeah, it was a clear opportunity there for Australia. Australia seems to be on a bit of a roll now. New Zealand need to pick up their intensity to match this. Yeah, they're coming down the sideline, and as they were making changes, that's when Australia really put defensive pressure on. They're just over the halfway line here. They need to get some strike going forward. They do that now. Jones comes off the right foot, sends it out the back. Nice running off the left, off the left again. Oh, bubbles there and couldn't hang on to it. McIntyre. The Australians, they're still hanging on. They've got the lead. It's 7-6 that they lead. Only the one touchdown in it. Russell. Singh just takes his time, sends it out to Parker. Russell again. Good metres from Corey Russell. Gets him over the halfway line. Cridland now steaming onto the ball. Stone. Look out for Stone to go from half. He's had value every time he does. He goes again. Here's Stone. It gets into the in goal. Can he link up? Stone. No. Pops out in front there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Australia breaching New Zealand now. New Zealand need to pick up. That pod's been on for a while. They're tied. You'll find them going straight to the box right now, these young fellas, and getting off and getting some, some freshies on. They're going to have to work hard in the set. It's a repeat set. Oh, they've got to keep an eye on Daniel Stone. Every time he works his way into acting half, he's gotten into the in-goal area. He's got the ball again now. They've got to keep an eye on the clock as well. It's winding down. Australia, they're up by one. This time, Stone sweeps around. Just a little bit disjointed there from the Aussies. they still got touches up their sleeve. The experience of Nichols drives in just short of the five. Here goes Stone. This time, he rips early. And, oh, it was touched there, unfortunately, from Hotanail out on that far side. Yeah, look, this, this could prove costly for New Zealand. They, uh, 
these uh, three lads are really tired. They've been working hard up and back, up and back a few sets. They're going to have to dig deep to hold Australia out in this set. Stone stays onto the field. Russell, here goes Stone again. Russell comes on the outside. The referee's seen something. Incorrect roll ball. And Russell down in backfield. Just copped a little knock there. Looking a little bit ginger there, Corey Russell. He worked his way back into the line. That gives New Zealand a chance to get some changes onto the field as well. As Jones comes down the sideline. Nice pressure there from Moffat. They go central again here, the Kiwis. Going to the middle, Hutchinson. Turns back on the inside for Hodgson. They've got to get forward here, drive in, the Kiwis. They pick up from half and go. They find the leak ball. Oh, they go the flick ball out around the back. Probably couldn't do anything more than throw the flick because his body had turned inside on that occasion and couldn't get that final pass out to the wing. Yeah, his body position was such that he, that's the only way you got to release the ball. Australia driving off now. Good defensive pressure coming out of the line, Hutchinson. He's really trying his best to try to get the Kiwis some momentum in this game on both sides of the field. Here we go. There's a mistake from the Australians. This could be the New Zealanders' opportunity. That was great defence from New Zealand. And you see they worked hard. Now they get off and get, get the fresh pod back on. So they'll take their time here. That'll just allow them to get their changes back onto the field. McIntyre working back on now. It's the familiar foe of McIntyre. Jones... And Tomori, Tomori with the ball now. Jones comes from half, sends it over long. Oh, the footwork back on the end. Play on, is it? No. The Australians are claiming the touch must be on the shirt as a result. Must have felt that touch because they fired it back on the inside, but it's a touch and pass. Yeah, New Zealand needs to work hard now to um, get forward and make touches. They need someone back going forward all the time to meet these Australians and stop their yards. Nice run from Mills and Stone. He shows and holds onto the ball as well. That's better from Bordorangi coming up on Cridlin. Cridlin driving in now. Moffat picks and goes. Throws out long. Moffat, good catch. Pass back on the inside. Nichols scoots around the back. Nichols tries to take him on. Oh, here we go. The clock is starting to become a factor now. New Zealand, they're still down by one. 7-6 on the scoreboard. The Australians are leading this one. The Kiwis, oh, it's a sloppy roll ball. Oh, they've turned oh. it over. Costly error for New Zealand there. Costly error. Yeah, that could be a big moment in this match as the Australians. They roll it on that 10-metre line. They'll probably take their time this set. No, the hooter goes in the background. And it was all too little, too late. That was their last chance, the Kiwis. They turned it over. And it's Australia who get away with the mixed open gold medal over the Kiwis. But Peter, again, a fantastic grand final between these two countries, Australia and New Zealand, yet again. Yeah, a fantastic spectacle for our sport. Male, female athletes all out there on the same field at the same time. What a game. Unbelievable. Congratulations to New Zealand as well. Fantastic performance here in the Mixed Open Gold Medal match. But it is the Australians. They reclaim the World Cup. They are back-to-back -back champions now, winning 2015 and 19. Great match here in the Mixed Open. It is Australia who have won this one with the final score being seven touchdowns to six. But stay tuned through the BBC. We have the Women's Open gold medal match coming up. And yet again, it's going to be Australia taking on New Zealand.